Planning a trip to South Lake Tahoe? Whether you're going for snow or lake activities, here's a short food vlog giving you a few suggestions on what to eat, from cafes to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Our first stop is Freebird, a cafe specializing in chai lattes. They do serve coffee, but I really want to try their house-made chai. So just as a morning pick-me-up, we got some chai from Freebird. So let's check it out. This ain't no weak ass chai. This is a very, very spiced chai. It's not that creamy, but it is very, very spiced. Especially if you don't want such a caffeine high like coffee, chai is a really good way to go. All right, now on to our next food spot. For breakfast, I went to Tahoe Bagel Company. The owner is from New Jersey, so I had to see if these bagels live up to their East Coast counterparts. This was actually recommended to us by a local, so thank you, Dylan. I got the lock sando. I chose the egg bagel, and my boyfriend got the meat, cheese, and egg on the everything bagel. A very, very popular breakfast spot here in Tahoe. You can also get coffee here as well. So this is the lox with cream cheese, capers, dill, all that good stuff on the egg bagel. That lox is so, so good. So what's cool is that the owner of Tahoe Bagel is actually from New Jersey. And the owner told me that one reason why the water in New York is so good is because it comes from the Adirondack Mountains. And he says, same thing with Lake Tahoe. It's a mountain range, so you're getting that spring water, which is why the bagels here are so, so good. Now we're gonna try the meat, egg, and cheese on the everything bagel. That bacon is toasted so well. And so crispy. <laughs> so good. For Apreski, check out Himmel House, located directly across from the California Lodge parking lot of Heavenly. They've got amazing German beers and food. You can choose to sit outside or indoors. For food, we got the Currywurst, which is a sausage of your choice covered in house-made ketchup and spices. The Currywurst was so good. It reminded me of the ones I've had in Germany. We also got the half order of Kesha Spatzel, which is cheese pasta, and I ordered a Wurst on the side. I didn't take any videos, but I really, really enjoyed my cheese pasta. If you love cheesy pasta, you definitely gotta order the Keisha Spatzel. For dinner, my boyfriend and I wanted Thai food. My Thai cuisine is currently open for takeaway and delivery only. I called in my order over the phone and I was very pleased that the entire staff is Thai. I knew I was in for a good meal. All right, so first up, we got the Pad Thai with crab. And check it out, the Pad Thai has this really deep tamarind flavor and look at how much crab we got. We also got some tom yum soup, which is a sweet and sour soup. So I got the green curry with beef and it comes with rice. And of course, I had to top it all off with a nice refreshing Thai tea. All right, let's try the Pad Thai with crab from My Thai Cuisine. Really nice tamarind flavor on the Pad Thai. You know, Pad Thai is such a popular dish, but I always feel like it's either a hit or miss. It's either underflavored or overflavored. This is just right. And I love how much crab you get as well. I wonder if it's imitation, but it's so good. But you still get a lot. So the Pad Thai with crab from My Thai Cuisine, really good. All right, now I'm gonna try my green curry. I'm very partial to green curry, I think because I just love the coconut milk in it. Okay, so I got mine with beef. Here's some eggplant and some broccoli and some bell peppers. Mmm, looks so delicious and nutritious. Mmm, that's a really nice green curry. Mmm, very tender beef. Mmm, yeah, the green curry, another winner. All right, so finally, I'm gonna try a little bit of the tom yum. That's a really nice sour soup. If you like tom yum, I think you'll like this one. Now I wanna wash it down with my Thai tea. Mmm, nice and sweet, but not overly sweet. Mmm. Also, I do have a video on my channel about how to make Thai tea. So if you love Thai tea but don't know how to make it, you can check it out right here. All right, everyone, that is it for today's mini food tour of South Lake Tahoe. Sorry for the shades, it's really bright and sunny here in Lake Tahoe. So we only scratched the surface of the food that is available here in South Lake Tahoe. But to put it into perspective, my boyfriend and I spent two days skiing and snowboarding for about four and a half hours each day. Now we were spending so much time outdoors, we just didn't eat lunch. Also for breakfast, we would either cook or eat leftovers. But if you are gonna ski and snowboard in Lake Tahoe, you're probably gonna spend your time similarly to how we did. But I hope that the food we covered gave you some inspiration of what you can find in South Lake Tahoe.